Kumusta po mga kabayan? At first, I was a bit hesitant to make this video because my assumption was that this is supposed to be an information that you will receive together with your booking confirmation. But now I do realize and understand that most are actually booking through travel agencies. Some are booked by their employers and you guys don't actually get all this necessary information that you are supposed to get. Meron pa nga tayong mga kababayan na hindi nila alam ang flight information nila. Sa, in, sa airport na lang daw nila nalalaman, no? Apparently, hindi sinasabi o ayaw sabihin sa kanila ng mga employers nila. So, this is one of our motivations para matulungan naman ang mga kababayan at maipahatid ang impormasyon na ito. In this video, we are going to discuss about the baggage allowance, specifically the weight and number of pieces allowed by your airline. For now, we are going to cover six airlines which are requested by our, view, uh, by our viewers very often in the comment section. Philippine Airlines, Qatar Airways, Gulf Air, Saudi or Saudi Airlines, Etihad, and Emirates. If you are interested to know the rules for other airlines, please let us know in the comment section so that maybe we can consider making another video for that. In this video, hindi po natin i-discuss ang size requirement ng bagahe, pero mahalaga din po na alamin ninyo ito. In this video, the focus is travel to and from the Philippines. Disclaimer lang po, the information here are coming from the websites of your airlines, extracted on this day, May 24, 2021. Your baggage allowance will highly depend on the date when you have booked your flight. Ang inyong baggage allowance ay nakadepende sa rules ng airlines noong panahon na nabook ang inyong flight, lalo na kung matagal nang nabook itong mga flights ninyo. For example, we will see later that the Philippine Airlines baggage allowance before February 15 is different from the baggage allowance booked after February 15. Kaya ang pinaka-best way to verify your exact baggage allowance ay sa booking confirmation ninyo. Kung ayaw po talagang ipakita sa inyo ng mga amo ninyo, then kahit itanong nyo lang po ano bang klaseng ticket ang binili, kung economy ba or business class, then you may use this video as your potential guide. Let's start with Qatar Airways. In most airlines, meron silang tinatawag na weight concept at peace concept. In Qatar Airways, we can read this information for routes where the weight concept apply, there is no limit on the number of pieces as long as the weight does not exceed the limit. To simplify this, kung kayo ay galing o papunta ng Africa o America, your basis is the number of bags. All the rest, ibig sabihin, kasama ang Pilipinas, kung galing kayo o papunta ng Pilipinas at sasakay kayo ng Qatar Airways, ang basihan ay ang timbang kahit pa ilan ang bilang ng bagahe ninyo. Regardless of the concept, whether by piece or weight, you have to comply with the maximum weight per luggage bag. It should not be more than 32 kilograms. This is for all the six airlines we mentioned here. Maximum po, 32 kilograms lang ang pwedeng bigat ng isang luggage. So, for example, ang inyong baggage allowance ay 35 kilograms, hindi po pwedeng lahat ay nasa isang bag lamang. Mayroong mga airlines na pumapayag dito, minsan nilalagyan lang nila ng heavy luggage na tag, pero yung ibang airlines po, totally hindi ito allowed at pagbabayarin po kayo ng excess baggage fee or ipapatanggal po sa inyo ang excess. Ito po ay international standard for safety. At personal opinion ko po, hindi rin maganda para sa inyo na magbuhat ng isang bag na 35 or more ang timbang. Napakabigat po niyan. So ano ba ang gagawin? For example, kung 35 kilograms ang allowed sa inyo, i-distribute nyo na po ang timbang. Pwede kayong gumamit ng mas maliit na bag kung iisa lang ang malaking luggage nyo. Example lang po ito. Ang baggage allowance po ay nakadepende sa binayaran ninyong tiket. Sa lahat po ng babagkintin nating airlines, always check or palaging alamin kung ano nga ba ang ticket type na binibili nyo o binili para sa inyo. Sa Qatar Economy Classic, allowed kayo ng 25 kilograms kahit ilang bag basta combined total ay 25 kilograms, ang hand carry naman ay 7 kilograms. 
Sa Qatar, economy convenience allowed ang combined total of 30 kilograms, ang hand carry ay 7 kilograms. Sa Qatar, economy comfort, 35 kilograms with 7 kilograms hand carry. Sa Qatar, business class, ang check-in bag, kahit ilan, basta combined total, maximum of 40 kilograms. Sa hand carry, pwede up to 2 pieces, basta ang total combined weight ay 15 kilograms and compliant to the cabin size requirement. Sa Qatar, first class, up to 50 kilograms and then 2 pieces hand carry up to 15 kilograms total. For flights to and from America, the rule that applies is the piece concept. In here, it is very specific. Two pieces lang po, and nakalagay dito ang maximum weight per piece. Sa Emirates or Emirates, mayroon din silang weight concept at piece concept. And it's the same, ang mga pauwi ng Pilipinas, weight concept po tayo. Meaning, kahit ilang bag, basta sumunod lang sa maximum weight allowance at syempre size. At yung piece concept ay applicable lang sa Africa at Amerika. Economy special, 20 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilograms hand carry. Economy saver, 25 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry. Economy flex, 30 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilograms hand carry. Economy flex plus, 35 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry. Business class, 40 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry saka 1 piece na briefcase or garment case. First class, 50 combined, com- combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry saka 1 piece na briefcase or garment case. Sa Gulf Air, pag pauwi ng Pinas o pabalik ng Bahrain, piece concept ang sinusunod. Very specific po, sa economy class, 2 pieces sa check-in, 23 kilograms each at may 7 kilograms na hand carry po kay Falcon Gold, 2 pieces sa check-in, 32 kilograms each at may 9 kilograms na hand carry po kayo. Sa Etihad Airways, weight concept ulit except sa mga biyaying USA at Canada. So to be clear, Pauwi o galing ng Pinas, papunta o galing ng Middle East, timbang po ang basihan. Pero ito po kailangan ninyong i-check mabuti kasi po sa Etihad, magkaiba ang luggage allowance pauwi ng Pilipinas sa luggage allowance pabalik ng Middle East. Sa rutang Manila to Abu Dhabi for guest seat economy, 30 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry at 5 kilograms na handbag. Pero pag Abu Dhabi, pauwi ng Pilipinas for guest seat economy, mas malaki po ang allowance, 40 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry at 5 kilogram na handbag. Please pay attention po sa type ng inyong ticket, kung economy ba, first class o business class. Kung mapansin nyo po, kung economy, may mga different subtypes pa ng economy tickets. Responsibility po ninyo ito na alamin sa sarili nyo dahil ticket po ninyo yan. Kami po ay para mag-relay lang ng information kung ano ang nasa website. Hindi po namin nakikita ano ang nasa ticket ninyo. At kung may changes na mangyayari after ng videos, uh, video na ito, ay nakadepende na po yan sa airlines. Kaya palagi po ninyong i-check ang information na nasa website. Nilagay po namin sa comment section at sa description box ang mga links na kailangan nyong puntahan depende sa inyong airlines. Sa economy sale, walang difference ang Manila to Abu Dhabi sa ka Abu Dhabi to Manila. 20 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry at 5 kilogram na handbag. Ito ulit, may difference ang Manila to Abu Dhabi sa Abu Dhabi to Manila. Kapag Manila to Abu Dhabi, ang economy value, 30 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry at 5 kilogram na handbag. Ang Abu Dhabi to Manila sa economy value 40 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kilogram hand carry at 5 kilogram na handbag.
Sa Economy Choice at Choice Plus, may difference ulit ang Manila to Abu Dhabi sa Abu Dhabi to Manila. Kapag Manila to Abu Dhabi, ang Economy Choice at Choice Plus, 35 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kg hand carry at 5 kg na handbag. Kapag Abu Dhabi to Manila, ang Economy Choice at Choice Plus, 45 kilograms combined total sa check-in at 1 piece na 7 kg hand carry at 5 kg na handbag. Madali lang naman intindihin basta pay attention sa ticket type ninyo, huwag nyo na problemahin yung ibang ticket type. Pag business class, walang difference kung pauwi o paalis ng Pinas. 40 kilograms combined total sa check-in, 1 piece na 5 kg handbag, and 2 pieces na hand carry with 15 kg total combined weight. First class, ganun din. Walang difference kung pauwi o paalis ng Pilipinas. Pero dito, 50 kilograms combined total sa check-in, 1 piece na 5 kilogram handbag, and 2 pieces na hand carry with 15 kilograms total combined weight. Sa Saudiya, straightforward po tayo. Pag pauwi ng Pinas o pabalik ng Saudi Arabia, peace concept ang sinusunod. Pag economy flex o semi flex, 2 pieces sa check-in, 23 kilograms each at may 7 kilogram na hand carry po kayo. Sa business class, 2 pieces sa check-in, 32 kilograms each at may 9 kilogram na briefcase kayo at 12 kilogram na hand carry. First class sa Saudi Arabia, 2 pieces sa check-in, 32 kilograms each at may 9 kilogram na briefcase kayo at 12 kilogram na hand carry. Now, sa ating flag carrier, Philippine Airlines, weight concept pa o peace concept? Pareho pong ginagamit ito, depende sa ruta, kaya pakinggan po ninyo mabuti. Ang reference po natin ay palaging pauwi o galing ng Pilipinas. So, sa mga travelers na galing o papuntang Japan, USA, Canada, Damam, Riyadh, Dubai, Kuwait, Doha, to Are from the Philippines, sa economy class, kasama dito ang super saver, saver, value at flex, 2 pieces sa check-in, 23 kilograms each, at may 27 kilogram na hand carry po kayo. Sa business class, 2 pieces sa check-in, 32 kilograms each at may 7 kilogram na hand carry po kayo. Sa mga travelers naman within Asia na galing o pauwi ng Pilipinas, sa mga travelers na galing o papuntang Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, Hong Kong, Macau, Ho Chi Minh o Saigon, Hanoi, Phnom Penh, Jakarta, Bali at Taipei, sa economy class, kasama dito ang super saver, saver, value, flex. Four tickets sold before February 15, 2021. So, importante po talaga na makita ninyo mismo ang booking ninyo. Dito po, may allowance kayong 25 kilograms at 7 kilogram na hand carry. Sa premium economy, for tickets sold before February 15, 2021 sa mga bansang nakasulat, may allowance kayong 30 kilograms at 7 kilogram na hand carry. Sa business class, for tickets sold before February 15, 2021 sa mga bansang nakasulat, may allowance kayong 35 kilograms at 7 kilogram na hand carry. Now, For tickets sold from February 15 until December 31, 2021 sa economy class, kasama dito ang super saver, saver, value at flex sa mga bansang nakasulat, may allowance kayong 30 kilograms at 7 kilogram na hand carry. For tickets sold from February 15 to December 31, 2021 sa premium economy sa mga bansang nakasulat, may allowance kayong 35 kilograms at 7 kilograms na hand carry. For tickets sold from February 15 to December 31 sa business class sa mga bansang nakasulat, may allowance kayong 40 kilograms at 7 kilogram na hand carry. For PAL passengers, in addition to your hand carry, 
you can also bring the following items. One small handbag, one pocketbook or purse, an overcoat or a blanket, a small camera or binocular, a laptop with case, reasonable amount of reading materials, duty-free bags, baby food for consumption in flight, pair of crutches and or braces, walking stick, and other prosthetic device for the passenger's use provided that the passenger is dependent upon them. It means kung hindi po ito sa inyo, like maybe pasalubong para sa inyong mga lolo o lola, then hindi po allowed sa loob ng cabin, i-check in nyo po yun. Mahalagang paalala sa mga kababayan. Maraming hindi makauwi ngayon. Maraming makikilagay ng gamit, makikisuyo. Unahin po natin isipin ang sarili nating pamilya. Kung hindi po natin alam kung ano ang nasa loob ng padala o ng mismong bag na pinakikisuyo, tanggihan po natin. Nakasalalay po ang buhay ninyo dito at kinabukasan ng inyong pamilya. Kung mayroong nakiki-check in, wag po kayong magmagandang loob. Kindly decline po. Nangyayari po talaga ito kahit nasa airport na at marami na pong nabiktima ng ganito. Biglang mayroon palang mga pinagbabawal na item sa loob. Kulong po yan o buhay ang kapalit. Unahin natin isipin palagi ang pamilya po natin. God bless po and have a safe flight.